Yo guys, what's going on? Zace is here today with another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the two ruble armor in Escape from Tarkov, how to put it to its best use, and how to snipe it. So guys, make sure you do me a huge favor. Make sure you subscribe to this channel, man, and also leave a like on this video. I'm trying to get this channel up to 1,000 subscribers so I can really go hard on the Tarkov content. Tarkov content on my main channel, Aces Gaming, with over 17,000 subscribers, used to do super well. However, that's a Call of Duty channel, and I want this to be my main Tarkov channel. So, mean the world to me if you could drop a sub. I have a lot of good information that I can tell you about Tarkov, whether that is market manipulation, making money in the market, making money on scav runs, or just general PMC stuff. It doesn't really matter, man. Tons of Tarkov content to go around. Make sure you hit that sub button. So, in today's video, we're talking about the 2 Ruble Ule Armor. And honestly, man, I wasn't sure if they still had this in the game, if it was fixed or not, but we are good to go. I just sniped this one for 2 Rubles. And I kept it up on screen here, as you can see, two rubles right here, um, a 9 out of 80 Yule armor. And I'm going to tell you guys why this is such a huge armor, especially for people who are basically broke in this game. Me, I am not broke whatsoever. I have almost 18 million rubles. I just spent like 3 million this morning buying some more storage to try and clear up the stash a little bit. So two rubles to me isn't even a drop in the bucket. And you can get two rubles basically by selling any item in the game. No matter what it is, you can get at least two rubles. And honestly, you can probably get a lot more than that. Even like a regular baseball cap sells for like 700 rubles. And in theory, that's like 400 armored rigs. So you guys get the point that I'm trying to make. So let's go in the stash. I actually have two of these bad boys in the stash just floating in here. Now this one is not a two ruble armor. This one's going to cost you roughly... 1400 from fence and you can figure out these prices and you go go off their durability really but the 9 out of 80s you know the 7 out of 80s anything under 10 is going to be a 2 ruble armor and to prove that to you if we go to fence which is going to be the person selling these armors the armor will only sell for 1 ruble as you can see 1 ruble right here this one is right around that you know 800 ruble range so he would be selling it on the market for probably around the 2000 rubles so, the way you can snipe these, there's actually two ways. The number one way, the easiest way, honestly, since it's two rubles, it's the cheapest item in the game, except for player-listed items at one ruble, which rarely happens, is you actually go into your flea market, you go to the gear section, you hit gear, and then you sort by price. So, up here, you do the max price, and then you do the lowest price. You can see there's a snipe right there. I'm not sure if we're going to be making money on those. I feel like these sell for, like, a lot more than 800 but, um, you know, you can snipe the lowest item on the gear section. So, you can do this with any section. And I'm pretty sure I have a market guide on doing this. But this is how you snipe the gear. It's going to be the cheapest option. So, you can see, like, besides the stuff that Ragman sells, you can see the player-listed items that are the cheapest. So, this Emrakon hat, this army cap, whatever it may be. So, as soon as we get rid of this army cap, then Ragman is going to be back on top. And it kind of just allows you to see really easily what items are going to be player-listed or listed by fence. And fence will be the top listing for the actual armor. Now, if you wanted to go one step further, you could actually go directly into the armor so you don't have to sort any of the items. However, it's a bit riskier if fence sells like one that's like 40 out of 80 and it's kind of like 20,000 rubles. It just, it's a lot easier to accidentally snipe those armors rather than just doing it the first way. So do whatever way you want, but it is super easy to get the two ruble armors. They come up a lot more than you might think. This is a cheaper armor, so... People will just sell them to fence after they use them up. It's very, very efficient, and it works super well when it comes to getting some free gear, essentially. So let's just go in the gear section one more time, and we will try and snipe one. You could honestly go and attack rigs as well and snipe some other rigs if you so desired, but I still feel this is the best way. That way, if anybody does list something for way too cheap, you can still snipe it. And, um, you know, you're kind of killing two birds with one stone. But let's go over why these armors are so, so important to making a ton of rubles and escape from Tarkov. So we paid two rubles for this armor. The reason this is important is because this is a container size 10. This gives you 10 potential slots to make even more cash on any small run that you wanted to go into. Now, me personally, what I actually use these armors for is a Taz shotgun with flash rounds. It's the brand new Taz, not the old shitty Taz. So for example, if we head in here, I'm sure I have some hidden in here somewhere. Um, I definitely have to, but you grab the Taz shotgun and you actually go ahead and get the flash rounds. This guy, the KS 23 M you run in there with barricade rounds and one star round and you will go into factory. You get that one kill 
you throw this armor on the ground don't insure it you can just buy another one for two rubles you loot up the player and then you just get out with all their gear and that armor essentially might have saved your life from a bullet or if you kill a scav with it you know you have you have 10 extra spaces here to work with and it's just so much better doing this method even if you wanted to just go on like a loot run on interchange or something this is still 10 spaces that you got for two rubles which is huge so that is why the two ruble armor is super super important i want to try and snipe one and then i also want to get some gameplay so basically if you're stopping here that's fine but i am going to try and do a factory run and i'm going to try and snipe another one for you guys really quick so this is basically where the video is ending on the two ruble side of things and kind of the explanation side make sure you're dropping that sub if you want to stick around for the rest of the video i greatly appreciate it make sure you leave that like let's try and snipe one then we'll head into factory see if i get a kill or not if i fail i fail it is what it is but we'll do our best let's see if we can snipe one all right, guys, I could not manage to snipe another armor for two rubles within 10 minutes. I'm not going to do any more than that. I'm not going to sit here for an hour just trying to get three seconds worth of footage when I did have some at the beginning. So here is the loadouts I'm going to be doing. I'm going to go for two runs. If I go good on the first run, then awesome. If I fail both runs, I'll show you both failed attempts, whatever it may be. As soon as we have a good run, we're done. I'm not going to do two raids. If the first one's great, if the second one's good, the first one's bad, I'll show you both. You guys get the drill, man. But we have our star round, our barricade rounds. We have our magazine out to load it. Obviously, we have our other armor here ready for a failed attempt if necessary. So we're going to go ahead and load the star rounds into the chamber, barricades into the magazines, load up the mags, and we are good to go. This is the kit. This is the loadout right here. Make sure you have a factory key. If you have a factory key, you are good to go. You don't have to do anything else. You go into factory like this, kill a scav, kill a player, get out. It's that simple. We're going to head in raids, try and get something done with a very cheap loadout. This total cost right here is roughly 50k per loadout. Mainly only paying for the gun and the ammo. That's it. Armor's free. Free slots. Let's head in there. Let's try and get some work done. All right, guys. We are loading in raid number one. Haven't played Tarkov in a while, man. So I'm going to do my best here. Hopefully the guy doesn't spawn on our left there. If he does, we are screwed. The scav. Oh, he ducked under my shit. Load a couple more rounds in. A little rusty, guys. I do apologize. That should have been a good connection. Maybe not. Nah, I missed that one. Alright, he's dead. I do an ammo count. Three shots. One in the chamber. We had to go loot that guy. Alright. And pretty much now we just leave. Got a little bit of gear. I'm good. I don't need anything else. Now, we didn't take any bullets there. Mosin, for sure, would have killed us. But, essentially, you guys get the concept. You just do this over and over. You're basically getting a free, extra bit of peace of mind, really. You're heading in with a decent kit. The KS-23 will get the job done. And you just basically go in, kill one player, kill one scav, whatever it may be. And you leave. It's that simple. The barricade rounds should be one-tapping anything up to armor class 4 if you get a dead center chest shot. I was missing shots there. I'm extremely rusty. I want to get back into Tarkov. That's why I'm starting to make content again. But hit count was 3. Uh, so we were hitting some arm shots and shit like that. 430 damage. But the barricade rounds, uh, don't sleep on them. Trust me on that. I've one-tapped multi-cam uh, USEC armors before. And um, they're just a great round. So... Got out with a little bit of gear there. Obviously, we had on the Ule, and probably we could have did all of that without the armor. But it's just kind of essentially, if you wanted to loot anything extra, if you got the office spawn, you could loot all the filing cabinets and have extra space for them. But you guys, if you don't know prices right now, this is about, I'd say, what are we looking at? About 100k worth of gear in a couple minutes. I mean, that's pretty decent. The Mosin selfs are about 50,000. And the axe to the Jaeger should be about 50k last time I remember, unless the prices went down. Uh, yeah, 56,000. So, right there, we just made a solid 110,000 rubles just off doing something very simple. 
and with the intent of going in with a two ruble armor obviously we invested 50k with the ks23 and the ammunition but at the end of the day man that's really nothing on the grand scheme of things if you can go in there and get super quick gear like that so that is my guide video on the two ruble armor if you guys enjoyed it man make sure you leave a like on it if you have any questions or anything feel free to leave them in the comments i will answer them for you guys but that's gonna be it for me drop that sub drop that like that's all i got thank you so much for watching i'm out